Welcome to Surrender Outdoors. This week, we're hunting big easterns in the state of Kansas with Dan Bell and the Pass It On organization. Fan Collector Calls is proud to present Surrender Outdoors. This is where it all started for me, right out there in the middle of this lake. My life would forever change that day. My boat got away from me and I jumped into a chilly 52 degrees. As my body began to shut down, I began to struggle and drown, and my last resort was to pray. I remember what I asked God that day. Save me, Lord, so I can see my son again, and I will change and live my life for you. Harveyville, Kansas at Dan Bell's Bell Wildlife Specialties. Getting ready to do some turkey hunting with the kids from Pass It On Organization. Get another donut for the road. Here, in fact, I'm just gonna try all three. Real quick. There's three flavors in there. All are delicious. Oh man. <laughs> Gotta find some milk.
boys. Here's your triple T's. Sign some checks for you. Close the deal with fan collector calls. Whatever your perfect temperature, you'll enjoy consistent comfort with the heating and air conditioning systems. Homeowners rank number one. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, a higher standard of comfort. Kubota has announced the return of awesome rebates and great financing options. Texoma Utility Equipment carries all Kubota B, L, and M Series tractors. These heavy-duty tractors have cash rebates up to $6,000 or 0% interest up to 84 months. BXB and L Series tractors also get a free six-year powertrain warranty. Come see why going orange at Texoma Utility Equipment won't have you seeing red or spending a lot of green. Come see the guys at Texoma Utility Equipment in Durant. Welcome back. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Justin Boone with Brian Appraisal and Realty, specializing in farm, ranch, and recreational property right here in Oklahoma. So give Justin a call because integrity still matters. As you can see, this bird puts on a show for Kate and Joni and, and myself, and, and uh, we just weren't able to make it make it happen as you can see Kate just shoots right over his head but let's jump in the blind with Dan Bell and his youth kids and uh, see what they can get done wait a minute you're taking a left bird are you ready give me a second one two three <laughs> 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 there we go Oh, Dave called them in. Nice and they come in, and the boys nice did a number on them. <laughs> My thumb went All the way down to the ground. Yeah, yeah, and it gets further every year. <laughs> I did that. Are we, are we running film? Yeah, or? we're running. We're running. We're hey, running, there, so. we, had, we had fun this morning. This was opening day of youth season, 2017. And, uh, Pretty cool morning. Messiah here. This your first bird ever? Uh, I had a pheasant. What? First oh. turkey? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Thanks, We uh, started out this morning. This is my grandson, Nicholas, here. And he got to come this morning. And we've got, what, half of, or seven other kids out from passing on outdoor matters. The whole day was doing the calling. And, oh. and these two old bad boys come rolling in. And uh, we got the camera running. And Dave counted off one, two, three, and the boys pulled the character simultaneously, and this is what we ended up with. So, what a way to start the season. I'm telling you. <laughs> now it's time for Fan Collector Calls Tech Tips. Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about another type of hung-up gobbler. A lot of times, no gobbler's alone, but maybe he's across a creek, or sometimes he's call shy. He's been called, been busted somebody, I've been shot at or something, and he's really hard to get in. A lot of times you get after that old Tom and he's gobbling, going away from you. You can follow him for hours. He'll keep gobbling, keep talking to you, but he keeps going away. What you do in that situation, if you can't entice him in with two hands, you can't entice him in with fighting Toms, you can't hack off a hen because he's by himself. So what you need to do is talk to that dude and get him gobbling. Turn around, head back behind you about 50 yards. Hit it again, yup at him. He'll gobble again. Hook it about 50 yards further and do it again. That's probably far enough. You could go another 50 when he gobbles the last time. Turn around and hook it back about 100 yards back if you went 150. Sit down and shut up. Don't say another word. Sit there and wait. You'll see that old Tom coming a lot of times. He's coming in a run, just trotting down through the hill. Stop, gobble, throw his head up and listen. He don't hear her, 
he comes on in. What he's looking for is that hen, she's got tired of waiting on him. She turned on leaving and he's going, hey man, she's leaving, I'm gonna go back and get her because she's not gonna follow me. Try to trick him that way, guys. A lot of times it works, it's a lot of fun when you watch it happen because he's running looking hard for her. He'll gobble, listen, take off, run it again, he'll run right up on you. Give her a shot and see what you can do. Since 2007, our Kentucky-based service team has answered each one of your calls. You spoke, and we listened. The 2017 Covert Wireless Cameras. Made by us. Perfected by you. Welcome back. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Alpine Innovations. Makers of the Bow Slicker, Sight Slicker, Bino Bandit, Ammo Slicker, Bino Slicker, and the Scope Slicker. And be sure to check out their website for all their awesome products. It is April 3rd. I am here in Harveyville, Kansas, hunting with Dan Bell of Bell Wildlife Specialties. And uh, we hunted this past weekend with a uh, Pass It On Outdoor Mentors program there out of Wichita, Kansas. Got to hunt with some kids and got some kills. I am in the blind by myself. It's bow season, so I've got my new Obsession hemorrhage rigged up and ready to go. So when I drove in this field to come up in here to the blind, there was turkeys already here. I didn't get to hunt this morning because I mean, we got an inch of rain in about two hours this morning. So I couldn't get to the blind without getting all the camera equipment soaked. So, so I chose to set it out. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and they're already up on their feet moving around. So I run them out of here, but hopefully they come back. We're fixing to get our triple T's out and, and get after it and start calling. Well, I triple tease these birds from 500 yards out and uh, they come in, see the decoys, don't like it, 
and then they split up and this one takes about an hour and works in behind me so I gotta get turned in the blind and try to get a shot off Well, crud, I had to turn around, open the blind. I hit my ground blind stake. I mean, my bow stake that the bow goes on. Never had any intentions of shooting that way, and my cam hit that. It threw the arrow down. He's only 17 yards. Well, I messed that up. Well, after blowing that opportunity trying to self-film, I convinced Matt, one of Dan's guides, to not only take me to a new spot, but to also jump behind the camera. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for filming me. <laughs> I've been trying to self-film, and Matt volunteered to get up early and come with me. He had to wake me up. <laughs> yeah, I had to wake him up. He stayed up last night shooting people on a video game. <laughs> so, I got him in here with me this morning, and uh, we've been working these birds all morning. We couldn't find the blind. Matt stayed up so late playing video games that <laughs> he couldn't remember his way to the blind. It's a new property. He's only been on it one time. And, uh, it, and, and we had birds everywhere. We set up in a box blind. We set up on the ground. Finally come up on this hill. Nearly had a shot with the bow. I got drawed on him. Matt's filming. He's holding the decoy up. So we finally found the blind and got up here to it. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my bird so he don't fly off. He's still flopping in and kicking. So I'm gonna go get him and, and uh he's dead. He's done now. Yeah, it looks like he took his last he's breath. Dead. All right, good. Oh, he's still but we need to get him up here because I got another tag. Yeah. I ain't trying to be greedy, but I'm gonna get what I can get. <laughs> and we're gonna triple tease them in. They've been hit they've been hitting it all morning. What's that? Triple T's grew a tail. So, anyways, let me go get my bird and I'll be back. Well, we finally got it done this morning. I have been trying to do this by myself, self film an Eastern with a bow when it's very tough. We are in Harveyville, Kansas, hunting with Dan Bell and Bell Wildlife Specialties. I got his nephew and guide, Matt, behind the camera. Matt offered to come out with me this morning and and, uh, and film for me. And uh, that's the only reason why we was able to make it happen. We caught him in with our triple T's by Fan Collector. This is my first kill with the Obsession Hemorrhage and with my new HHA sights. I went to the smaller pin and man, I'm shooting a lot better. Just uh, my groups are a lot better. Um, I did miss a bird after this, almost had me a double. I hit my knee, but anyways, I won't make excuses. I just want to tell Matt, thanks for coming and filming me. And uh, Dan Bell, I appreciate you so much, man, for letting me come and hunt. And uh, I, it, it just means the world to me that I get to come up here and hunt these turkeys with you. Hello, Tex Homeland. Ken Fevers here with Tishomingo Chevrolet. I'd like to invite you to our dealership. 
If you're looking for a hometown, family business you can trust, Tishomingo Chevrolet is exactly what you're looking for. From our fully trained, award-winning service staff to our professional and personal sales department, 100% customer satisfaction is our goal. We don't do price gimmicks and play games to waste your valuable time and money. Simply put, we are a proud small town dealership and we do what it takes. Since 2007, our Kentucky-based service team has answered each one of your calls. You spoke and we listened. The 2017 Covert Wireless Cameras. Made by us, perfected by you. Pear Sandblasting and Painting is a mobile on-site company where we come to you. We can blast and paint fencing, gates, trailers, tanks, homes, barns, and all kinds of industrial equipment. Whether residential or commercial, we can blast and paint just about anything. So give us a call and let us make your stuff look like new. Come see us at Tadpoles Marine for our full line of Sun Tracker pontoon and tritoon boats. Anything from a bass buggy 18 foot pontoon to a 220 LE3 Regency tritoon. This Regency tritoon has powder coated logs, a reverse camera, and an electric bimini top. All Sun Tracker and Regency pontoons have a 10 year bout of stern warranty. Come see us at Tadpoles Marine. Your authorized Sun Tracker boat dealer. Does the new Sag Daddy grunt tube by Fan Collector Calls with its realistic fleshy sound actually work? I use the FCC's Sag Daddy Fan Collector Calls. It sounds so real. Welcome back. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by these fine products. And be sure to check out our website for a link to each one. Surrender Outdoors would like to thank these fine sponsors. All right, well, me and Matt are back in the blind uh, here in Kansas. And uh, we are set up on a different spot. Uh, still hunting with a bow here at Bell Wildlife Specialties. We've had a front move in, the temperature's dropping, and uh, it's been raining. It's supposed to be some heavy rain, what, about five, five o'clock probably? Probably about the time the turkey hunting's gonna get good. But anyways, we're gonna set in the blind and just keep hitting the triple T's and, and hopefully I can get my double today since I missed my opportunity this morning. Is Matt's fault. He had me all scrunched up in the blind. We've been eating honey buns and Cheetos, and uh, I didn't blind smaller. I didn't have room for my left knee, and since I was so scrunched up, I hit my left knee. And anyways, everybody make an excuse, but I got a good one. So, yeah. All right, let's get after it.
Oh, there you go. Man, that was awesome. I'm telling you guys what, if if you want to turkey hunt Kansas, you're not going to find a better place to come. You're not going to find better people to be around. Mm -hmm. Give Dan Bell a call. We'll put his number up on the screen. It's crazy here. It's raining. It's cold. A cold front is hitting. The north wind's blowing. We're shivering. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're about to freeze because we didn't bring enough clothes. <laughs> and turkeys are running around in the rain answering calls. So... We got a hen hot and working and got her talking and I guess that just woke the whole bottom up because we had them coming from every direction. Mm -hmm. They're still out there trying to come back over here. Right there. He's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I think turkeys ain't tough. Man, that sucker is pretty tough. He was the one whipping my decoy, wasn't he? He got better he sure hooks. Sure was. Better hooks than the one this morning, but not like that other one. He ain't the prettiest right now. Why don't we get him and we'll dry him up some. And uh, we'll show you folks more what he looks like. I, I hate showing them like this. This is part of it and it's wet but they just ain't near as pretty these birds are so pretty and i want to show him all the respect i can but man i tell you what hunt with dan bell there ain't nothing like it i started hunting yesterday i had three opportunities yesterday and i uh, blew them and i've had three opportunities today and capitalized on two of them so of course I had to shoot this bird twice and i, I felt like i hit him perfect but who knows? Anyways, let's get out of here and, and uh, I might get to head back to Oklahoma tonight and see my family. So I'm kind of anxious to get home. I've been, been away for a while. So I appreciate it again, Matt. Thanks, buddy, for yeah. for filming me. And couldn't have done it without you, man. Cause tried that yesterday and it didn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Heard the drawback of bow on Cheetos <laughs> and little Debbie cakes. <laughs> If he would have ate a sandwich like I did, some of them ribs. <laughs> yeah, it, it, he needs him some milk. Closed captioning for Serena Outdoors is provided by Tishomingo Chevrolet. We do what it takes.